Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a review on the Keurig K155 coffee maker. So this coffee maker retails for around $300. You're probably going to find this in an office setting. It's really big and heavy. Okay, so this coffee maker makes a really nice cup of coffee. You're going to lift it up. It's got a single needle on the top and a single needle on the bottom. It's going to pierce the cake up when you put it in. We've got a touchscreen display here. We can pick a four, six, eight, or ten ounce. I'm going to do eight ounces. That's a touch screen, so whichever one you touch, and then just press the brew button. It's going to brew a hot cup of coffee in less than a minute. Okay, coffee's coming out quick. And it's about 193. The coffee tastes really good out of here. It maintains that temperature really good. And at the very end, there'll be a gush of air come out at the end to kind of get all the coffee out of the cake up. Okay, so here we have our cup of coffee. Again, be careful, that is very hot, but it makes an excellent tasting cup of coffee. So we simply just lift the handle. There's the cake up, it poked the hole in the top and the bottom. Be careful, that can be really hot. Okay, so let's take a look at the coffee maker. Again, it is on the big side and it is kind of heavy. We got a water reservoir right here. We can take the cover off. Now the whole water reservoir is removable, but it's probably easier just to dump water in here. But we can take this whole water reservoir off. Now this is our low water sensor. So you wanna make sure and put that in there. There's a spot for it to go like that. Make sure that's in there. That's gonna sense the water level with this little magnet right here. Okay, so putting the water reservoir back on, kind of lines up like that. Now round back, this is the power switch. It's spring loaded. That turns it off and on. Now we also have two water lines right here. Undo this little latch. Now these are for draining the coffee maker. These are not, you cannot hook up uh, external water source to this. You have to use the water tank that it comes with. But if there's a hot and a cold, and I can drain the internal uh, water tank, with these two hoses, but they need to have those caps on. And this is where they're stored. Now let's take a look at the display here. This is a touch screen. We can do Spanish, French. Now when we lift the handle, it knows that we've lifted the handle. And now you can, it'll ask you, do you want to do a four ounce, eight ounce, six ounce, or 10 ounce? And then you just hit the brew button and it'll brew a coffee within less than a minute. But when you first turn this on in the morning, it does take about five minutes to heat up. There's a tank, there's a tank inside that has to heat the water up and that does take quite, you know, about four or five minutes. And you'll hear the water kind of boiling. Now K-Cups hold two tablespoons of coffee. You can brew it on any ounce you want. I find the eight ounce to be just right for two tablespoons of coffee. So once you've got that selected, just hit the brew button. And the display just kind of flashes some different pictures. It's very quiet when it's brewing. Now this is back to the, the main screen, but this has a menu. If you can't get to it, you've got to press, turn the power off back here. So press, that turns the power off. Now put your finger on the touch screen and turn, hold the power button down for five seconds. And you're going to go into a special, now we're in the special menu mode. So now I can hit, if you hit home, it's gonna come out of the menu mode. So just hit clock. I can enable or disable the clock. So normally it comes disabled. So hit the disabled. Now I can set the clock. Again, it goes by, it does have AM and PM and that will show up uh, on the screen. Hit okay. Now I can select brew temp. I can brew all the way up to 198 and down to 188. So this is, it's going to brew that through the K-cup. I like to brew mine really hot. Press OK. Now we have brew sizes. If that has a green check mark, that means it's going to display for whoever wants to make a coffee. I can deselect it. So say you only want people to do uh, a six or an eight ounce, you can deselect those. Now when I hit OK and it goes back to the normal screen, no one will see the six or no one will see the four and the 10. I want all four to be displayed, hit OK. Auto off. After two hours, after the last brew, on or off. It's disabled, so I'm gonna hit, there's, I can turn that on. You can all, it, it can only be adjusted to two hours. 
It's either on or off. So it's either enabled or disabled. Let's go back. Now that you may or may not see this on off time right here. If you don't have your clock set, this will be grayed out and you won't be able to select it. Now this is kind of important. I consider this, this is when it starts heating that water inside. So if you want to get up, so if you know everybody's going to be in the office or you know you're going to be brewing coffee around 7 a.m. every day, I would turn this on and I would set the auto on time to be about 20 minutes before you get up, you know, and then the auto off, say you know, okay, everybody leaves the office at 4 o'clock, you can turn that, um, you know, you can set that time also and click OK. Now, that doesn't mean people won't be able to use it. It's not locked out. They'll just have to hit the power button up here and turn it on. But with that on, that means the display and the hot water will be ready to go. Somebody can come right up to it and it's ready to go. Language, we can select the language, English. We can, now this contact information, this is pretty neat. I'm gonna show you something. So this is what it comes with standard. But up here in the top corner, if you hold the top corner, you can change what it says there. You can put your own name and then hit OK. You can even set a phone number. Press and hold that phone number, and then I can put my own phone number there and hit OK. Now I can see I can see some people doing some stuff at the office here, putting some phone numbers and make you can change the what that says. So that, that could get pretty funny. I might have just shown some people a really hidden secret because I think there's a lot of these coffee makers at offices. This is just a really industrial one, so this could get pretty funny. But anyway, that's the standard lingo, what it says. You can even change the website. So just by clicking on these, I can change what it says there, the phone number, and the name right there. Okay, when you're done, press OK. Now that's all I can set. Now I hit the home button and I just go back to this normal screen here. It always shows us the water level according to that sensor that's inside the tank. Sometimes it does say heating, please wait. That's when you first turn it on in the morning. It'll say that. And again, that can take about up to three or four minutes. And you cannot brew anything while it's heating up. And you can hear the water boiling in there. But you can see my time is displayed up there now. Now you can't get just hot water out of here. You know, don't put a cake up in there and you can press the 10 ounce button and get 10 ounces of really hot water. Now, I would do two of those because the first one, there is gonna be some residual flavor left over in the coffee here. But by the second one, it's gonna have a lot of it out, but there still might be just a little bit of residual. It does have a really nice big tr uh, drip tray here. We can take it out and this will catch, like if you do an accidental brew, it is enough to hold it like an accidental brew. Okay, so with the drip tray, this part doesn't come out. I could put a seven and a quarter inch mug up there. And now with the drip tray, that's about six and a quarter inches. So here's what the bottom of it looks like. It's very industrial looking. It's got these big rubber pads. This is the model number K155, 120 volts AC, 1,400 watts. Now the cord on this is really 70 inches long. It's very long, three prong and kind of heavy duty. So I've wanted to get this coffee maker for a long time. It's pretty expensive. I did find this on Amazon used. I think I got it for about $200. Normally it retails for $300. And again, those lines around the back, I originally thought you could hook water up to it. Like you could set this nick to a sink and run plumb water into it so you never had to fill the water tank. But that is not the case. It says that you cannot do that with this. It really only talks about, there's two lines back there. There's a hot water line and a cold water line. The hot water line is for draining the internal tank. So there's a, there is a pretty big size tank inside there that holds a lot of water. And if you're gonna be away from the coffee maker for a long time, you're supposed to drain that internal tank. Or if you, um, if you, if you haven't used it in a long time, you're supposed to drain that internal tank, fill it up and then, re, and then run some water through it. Now there is no descale light as far as I know. I've never seen a descale light comes on. I am gonna do a video on how to descale this. They want you to run pure vinegar through it. But this, this coffee maker completely re reminds me of a commercial coffee maker. Again, you could have this in your home. It, it definitely does a good job. Um, it's just, it is kind of big and heavy for a Keurig. You know, height-wise, you're looking at 14 inches. Front to back, you're looking at almost 15 inches. And then left to right, 10 and a half. But I can't stress enough how heavy it is. 
So I'm going to do another video how to clean the needles on this. But you know, I really was surprised. It just maintained the water temperature very well from the very beginning. And I think that did make a nice cup of coffee. You know, this IHOP Signature Blend did taste good. And this McCafe glazed uh, pull-apart donut does taste really good too also. I will put a link to it under the show description notes. If you click on the link, the product won't cost you anymore, but it is a way of supporting my channel. I will get a little bit of a commission from that sale. I bought this product with my own money and I was not paid for this video. Underneath the video, if you could give it a thumbs up, that really helps out my YouTube channel. Let me know what your thoughts are. I've been thinking of getting the other commercial coffee makers. I don't know if there's a big demand for those. Um, they're kind of expensive. They look really cool, but Keurig's got about three or four commercial coffee makers and they get really, really expensive. But I, 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 I don't know much about them, but I'm thinking about getting one more. And again, you know, an entry level Keurig, you're talking about a hundred bucks where this is, you know, retails for $300. That's pretty steep, but this is meant to be in an office used every day. I think it has a robust feel to it. Like this hinge, all of this feels really robust. Like, Hey, this is going to last a while. So I really appreciate everybody's support. If you could please like, and subscribe and thanks for watching. Miss Fiona has come for her treat. She really does like her treats. Nope, I'm all out.